So I'm guessing most of us probably wouldn't want our basement to be seen by thousands of people on Twitter, much less seen on the evening news. Now most of us don't have anything like what a local Avs fan has been collecting for years. And as Denver 7's Jason Grenauer found, how he gathered it has had a pretty big impact on the community. Step into this Avs fan's basement. Always a little bit of shock and awe. Not over his signed stick or bobblehead. It all started with one, as most collections do, right? That became something much bigger. I have every variant of Avalanche jersey that they've ever worn from home, away, and alternate period that they've worn. Every logo change, every version of every alternate. Right now, I'm, I'm around 50. He's right here. 1995-96, Claude Lemieux, Joe Sackick's first ever alternate jersey. Chris Begras Stadium Series jersey. And if you look close, you'll see something else that makes this set unique. Some of these have fantastic wear on them. These are not replicas. These are Avalanche true game-worn jerseys. The players wore these jerseys. Collected over the last half decade, matched to pictures and video of the players in them. The memories and the history is just very amazing to me, and, and I'm honored to be able to, to have these. But what makes this collection even more important is where many of these have come from. The auctions range from five to seven days, typically. Online auctions run by the team, with 100% of proceeds going to Kroenke Sports Charities. It definitely, you know, makes me happy knowing that my money when I'm bidding on one of these jerseys is going to a great place like that. I know you're wondering. I do wear them. Meaning even a collector and a default philanthropist. Tyson Berry. Still needed help with fashion advice. What do you think? Before tonight's game. I'm thinking Croup's a good choice. Hopefully it comes to the win. I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.